I'm Nozomo Mochizuki, an 11th grader in high school. I'm sorry for asking you to come here. And the girl in front of me is Masubi Yuki. She's so pretty that she's rumored to be the prettiest girl in our grade. And a lot of boys like her. We're in the same class, but we've only talked once or twice. We don't interact at all. No problem. But what do you want? Well, are you going out with somebody now? No, I'm not. Really? Then, do you want to go out with me? I kind of like you. She asked me to come to the back of the school building, and she confessed her love to me. No, I'm not sure if it was a love confession, but she asked me out. Either way, if it were another boy, he would be so happy. But, no, thank you. Okay, then let's walk home together. What? I wasn't interested in her proposal at all. No, thanks? Does it mean that you don't want to? Yeah. Don't you mean it in a different way? No. What do you mean by a different way? Y you don't like me? If so, can you tell me what is it that you don't like about me? It's not that I don't like you. Oh, really? Then... Why don't we just give it a try and go out? No, thanks. Why not? I'm not interested in that kind of thing. What? I guess I don't feel like going out. I don't want to have a romantic relationship. I see. So you must be... I don't have the time for love kind of guy. Are you busy with your club activity? No, I'm not in any club. Is it studies then? Do you want to go to a university that's hard to get in? Not at all. I see. Do you have lots of part-time jobs to support your family? My mom is fine and we have no problem. Then why? If you're not busy with anything, you have the time for love, don't you? But I just don't want to. I can't help it. Oh. It's hard to believe that a healthy high school boy with lots of time has no interest in love. Oh well, I get it. If you don't want to, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm used to getting dumped. See ya. I'm sorry for taking your time. Oh, if you change your mind, tell me anytime. Uh, okay. Thanks. Used to getting dumped, huh? If I get used to it... Would I stop feeling hurt? She left, looking as nothing happened and it didn't seem like she was hurt from being rejected. Ugh, <sighs> I kind of envy that. But even a pretty girl like Yuki-san can get dumped. I assumed that she was a type of girl who got love confessions all the time and had nothing to do with getting dumped. Oh well, I'm the one who dumped her, so it's not in my place to say so. Hey, do you have a girlfriend, Mochizuki? Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. I heard the same line before. Lunchtime. The boy who asked me that is my friend, Tetsu. Why do I have to be asked if I have a girlfriend or not twice in a day? We are having a blind group date with this girl that I know, but I still need one more boy. <laughs> so, do you want to come? No, I don't want to. Why not? You don't have a girlfriend, right? Then, why don't you give it a try and come? What's that look on your face? Nothing. He tried to persuade me the same way before. Okay, I'll go. Good! I'll text you the time and place. Okay. Oh well, I'm just going. So, there won't be any trouble. There is no way I'll get the attention. Since I don't have any talent, communication ability, and I'm not good looking. If I stay quiet at the corner, the time will solve everything. Ugh. I want to punch myself for thinking like that. I had no idea Yuki-san was participating as well. I should have checked who the members were. I had no interest, so I didn't do that. Oh, she's looking at me. She's smiling, but her eyes aren't. Of course, I dumped her today, saying that I had no interest in love. But she finds me at a group blind date where those interested in love would participate in. Of course she gets mad. Oh no, she's gonna beat me up. Hey, 
I'll go get everyone's drinks. What do you guys want? Hold on, Yuki-san. We'll do that. Don't worry. I just want to look at the menu myself, so... But I guess I'll have someone help me. Oh, no. Mm. Mochizuki-kun. Yes. She's gonna beat me up. Mm. So... Oh! What's going on, Mochizuki-kun? What do you mean? Didn't you say that you're not interested in love? Oh, no. Ah, she's really mad. So you don't like me? Did you say that to dump me? N no it wasn't like that. Then tell me if you can think of an explanation good enough to get away from this situation. Um... What? My friend made me come. But you dumped me adamantly. Oh. You don't want to give it a try and go out with me, but you're willing to participate in a group blind date where a lot of other girls come. I I'm sorry. It's okay. I was just jealous. I know I'm being unreasonable. N no you're not. If I were in her shoes, I would feel upset too. So, you participated in this group blind date as a joke, right? It sounds bad if you put it like that, but... I came here because they needed another boy, so I guess so. Hmm, <laughs> I see. W what about you? You didn't come because they needed another girl? Of course not. I'm here to meet someone. It can be an opportunity for me to meet the love of my life. How tough of you. You just got dumped. I told you, I'm used to being dumped. I won't be able to seize my chance if I get to process something like that. You don't have to try that hard. Boys would come to you, even if you don't do anything. No, it's not like I'm okay with anyone. I want to go out with someone that I want to. Like you, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, um, if you don't want me to stay, I can go. I can tell them that I'm not feeling well or something. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not gonna miss this. This is my chance. What? You're participating in a group blind date even though you're only here as a joke. So, you must be prepared to be hit on, right? That's... I thought there would be no girl who would hit on me. I'm telling you that you're the only one I want now. Oh. You dumped me before, but now that we met here, be prepared to be hit on, okay? And... Mochizuki-kun! Do you want to eat french fries? Do you want me to feed you? N no thanks Oh, let's sing in a duet. What kind of a song do you like? I like anime songs like this one. I see. Oh, no. Everyone is looking at us. Of course they are. Yuki-san is probably the most popular girl in this group blind date. As soon as we got back from getting drinks, she said that she wanted to sit next to me and was obviously hitting on me. Of course, we got all the attentions from others. Let's choose a song. Which one do you want? Oh, too close. And the group blind date was over. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Of course I was. I was gonna stay quiet in the corner, but instead, I got all the attention. Hey, Mochizuki. What? Yuki-san like you so much. What did you do? Well, nothing. <laughs> Liar! She wouldn't have liked you if you hadn't done anything. But I really don't know why. That's right. Yuki-san said that she liked me, but what is it that she likes about me in the first place? I hate to admit it, but I'm not kind of a person people find attractive. I'll give you an advice. Don't be carried away. Yuki-san is well known to be flirtatious. Flirtatious? Yes. She flirts with lots of guys and make them fall in love with her. And when you get serious, she gets away. There are lots of guys who's got heartbroken by her. What? Are you one of them? I... I haven't been dumped by her yet. It's okay. I'm not in love with Yuki-san. Mochizuki-kun! What are you gonna do after this? Do you wanna go somewhere with me? D no I'm going home. Too bad. Oh well. Then, let's walk home together, okay? Um... Go ahead. Oh, now I can't say no. Sh sure, then let's go home. Yes! 
<laughs> hey, don't get too clingy. Why not? You don't want me to? I'm telling you because I don't want you to do that. You're always acting cool. But you... What? Why me? You can choose any guy you want, right? I don't understand why you chose me. Well, I don't know. I felt something when I spoke to you, I guess. What's that look? You're making me have this look. Too shallow. How could you tell me that you like me for that kind of reason? Why not? What's important is how I feel. You have to tell him as soon as you feel something. You want a boyfriend that much? Well, it's not that I want a boyfriend. It's more like I don't want to miss the chance. There's a chance that he might be the love of my life, you know. But you don't know that if you don't talk to him. And you might not be able to be friend with him if you don't. So I try to talk to anyone that interests me. I see. That's why they call her flirtatious. But I've never confessed love to anyone but you, Mochizuki-kun. And why she chose me for that remains a mystery. Okay then, I'll go this way. Oh, okay. See you at school! Bye, Mochizuki-kun! Yeah, see you. Ah, <sighs> the love of my life. I'll probably never meet the love of my life. Because I've already met her. That's why I don't fall in love with anyone. Or, if I do fall in love again, I won't be able to overcome the sadness I'll feel someday when I break up. I met the love of my life when I was in the fourth grade in elementary school. Good evening, Mizuki-kun! That was when my last name was still Mizuki, and I was living with both my parents. Ah, Yuchan! I used to call the girl I met at the park Yuchan. Everyone called her Yuchan. Did you run away from home again? Yeah. I see. I used to run away from home all the time and spend time at the park in the neighborhood by myself. It's not that I didn't want to be at home. I didn't want to be with my parents. To be more precise, I didn't want to hear them fighting. That's why I wanted a place where it was quiet and safe. I needed some place where I didn't have to think. Then, I'll stay with you until you go home. You would just stay with me. She wouldn't ask me questions. That's what I liked about her. I wanted a quiet place, but I felt lonely when I was alone. She gave me a sense of security, but... I'm home! Welcome home. You were late. My parents got divorced and I started living with my mom and we moved away. I couldn't say goodbye to you and we fell apart. I know... I know I shouldn't be hung up on love from long time ago, but not wanting to miss a chance, huh? If only I were a bit enthusiastic and positive like Yuki-san. Hmm, curry is the best menu at our cafeteria. What? What's wrong? You don't feel like eating? It's not that. Then why don't you eat? Why are you sitting with me? Because you're alone and the seat is empty. I... I like to be alone. That's true. It's not like you don't have any friends, but you're usually alone. Though I have some friends, I'm not really close to them. I don't like to be where other people are talking loudly, so I tend to become quiet when I'm with several people. So, there are not many groups of friends who want to be with me. I was invited to the group blind date other day just because they needed another boy. Why do you want to eat lunch with someone who dumped you? Well, it's true that you dumped me, but I still like you. If you can eat lunch with someone you like, you want to, right? Oh, but if you really don't want to, just tell me. N no, it's okay. I'll put an empty seat between us then. So, you'll sit close to me anyway, huh? After school. Let's walk home together, Mochizuki-kun. Why are you giving me that look? I just think you're so tough. Does she ever feel awkward? I found out that we live pretty close when we walk home after the group blind date the other day. So if you say no, I'll just pretend to see you by chance and walk home with you. You already told me that. So even if it was really a coincidence, I would never think that you saw me by chance. <laughs> well, so you have to walk home with me either way. Just give up. 
okay. Oh, but if you really don't want to, tell me, okay? I didn't say that. Then I'll walk 30 centimeters away from you. So you were gonna walk closely to me, huh? After that... Let's go get something to eat at the store today, Mochizuki-kun. I heard that they have new kinds of bread. She would follow me everywhere. Hey, do you want to go to the amusement arcade after school? No, there's no game that I want to play. Really? Then let's go to Steebucks. I want to drink a Frappuccino. No matter how cold I was, she would never leave me alone. It started to feel just a bit right to be with her. Well? What? Don't you think it's too tough? Too tough? What's tough? We've been spending lots of time together lately, but I dumped you, remember? Yeah, I do. I was wondering if you don't feel sad. Not at all. I told you that I'm used to being dumped. Don't you feel sad? The stronger you feel for someone, the more it hurts when he doesn't love you back, right? What? Does it mean that you think I love you so much? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. You're right. I do love you a lot. Oh. <laughs> Lately, you look a bit happy when I tell you something like that. N no I don't. Anyway, it doesn't matter even if you don't love me back. If you try hard and it doesn't go well, I don't have to regret anything. I used to love this boy so much before. I really loved him, and I thought he was the love of my life. But I didn't even try to get to know him. Then, before I knew, he disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. I don't know why, but I couldn't see him anymore. I should have talked more. I should have told him that I liked him. I should have tried to get to know him better. Then, it might have been different. I regret it even now. So, I'm not going to miss my chances anymore. I made up my mind to try to get to know the person I like, even for a little. I see. <laughs> I've never told this to almost anyone before. I don't know why, but I told you, Mochizuki-kun. <laughs> Me too. I got heartbroken a long time ago. I fell apart from the person I really liked. Unlike you, I'm still hung up on her and cannot move on. But... Lately, I started to feel that I should change. I just assumed that I would never meet someone that I could love like her. No, by thinking like that, I was protecting myself so that I wouldn't have to go through that feeling of loss again. So... I fell in love with that girl who was there for me when I was alone. So, I must have fell in love with this girl who would never leave me alone, no matter how cold I was to her. I just wasn't ready to admit that. What's that? She's the girl that I used to love the most in this world. But it's okay now. I'll forget about her and I'll move on with my life. Stop it. Mizuki-kun. What? I'm sorry, but it's me in this picture. What? I didn't expect you to change so much. Well, I saw that I had to change. After you left, I had a makeover. They say that you need to change your look first, right? That's too much of a change. She looks like a completely different person. But if you look really closely, I guess there's a resemblance. But it feels sad though. Even if I look different, I wanted you to notice me. Don't be crazy. It's been like seven years since. You didn't notice me either, you know? <laughs> I miss that name. Hey, don't try to change the subject. Musubi Yuki. I've two Yu Chinese characters in my name, so my nickname was Yu back then. Nobody calls me by that name now. Don't try to change the subject. I'm Kasuga Haruno, a typical 11th grader in high school. There's a non-typical 11th grader in our school that everyone's afraid of. And then... Ow! Watch where you're going! I'm sorry! Are you an idiot? Don't try to mess with my yama! Let's go! Okay!
Mai Mayama, a pretty girl with blonde hair. And... Good morning, Mayama-san. <laughs> she sits next to me. We were in different classes last year, so I don't know much about her, except for what I've heard in rumors. She's said to be a really bad delinquent and so strong at fighting. The way she acts and looks is intimidating, so most of the students fear her, and I've never seen her with anyone. Phew, I need to be careful not to mess with her. The way she glares is so scary. Good morning. So? <sighs> oh, I'm so sleepy. I just can't take in what the teacher is saying. Huh? Whose is this? Did it come from the seat in front of me? Or... Mm. Wow! It was my Yama-san's! Um... Is this yours? Mm. She looks as if she wants to tell me not to touch her eraser without permission. She freaks me out. Uh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Uh. Uh, don't glare at me like that. I just picked up your eraser. Thanks. After school? Huh? I saw something that bothered me on my way home. Wow, they are picking on her. A girl and three guys. And all the guys seem bad. Let me tell you in advance. I'm not good at fighting at all. Ah! Run! But sadly, I can't just let this kind of thing go because it would make me feel so guilty. <sighs> Good. They didn't come running after us. I know it was a stupid thing to do, but saving a total stranger girl in trouble wasn't bad. Uh, she wasn't a total stranger! Uh, um, sorry? It was you, Mayama-san. How come I didn't notice it when I saw her from behind? I should have noticed her blonde hair! Wow, she's glaring at me as if she wants to tell me not to meddle with her. She's right. If the rumor was true, she would have knocked them down easily. Being saved by a wimp like me might have embarrassed her. Well, uh, see you? Oh no! D -d 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 Do you want something? Thanks. Huh? What? Uh. Uh, uh. She's gone. What did she say? Next day? Mm. What? I don't know, but I feel someone looking at me intensely from the seat next to me. Uh. Oh no! I can't look, but I'm sure she's glaring me hard. Bell rings? Good. It's lunchtime now. I need to go somewhere I don't have to feel her glaring at me. Hey. I couldn't leave! Uh, yes? What does she want? Is she mad at me about what happened yesterday? With me. What? Come with me for a sec. Oh no! <laughs> She's mad at me! I came to the rooftop as she told me to. My Yama-san and I are the only ones there, just as I'd expected. It means that there won't be any witness no matter what happens. What's going to happen to me? Um... Yes? Okay, I'm ready. I don't know what she's gonna say, but uh... Lunch. Huh? Lunch. Do you wanna eat with me? Uh... What? Hmm. Um, what's going on here? We're just gonna eat lunch together, nothing else. And... Hmm. She eats like a small animal. So cute. Um, thank you for saving me yesterday. Eh? I was so scared, you saved me. Uh, what? Did she just thank me? What's with your face? Ah, uh, well, I thought... Do you think of me as a frightening delinquent, too? Yes, I do! I'm not a delinquent. 
Uh, really? So you thought I was a delinquent? I'm sorry. I've had this since I was little. They always think I am a delinquent because of the color of my hair. So your blonde is? Yeah, it's natural. It's very rare for a Japanese. Hmm, it's beautiful. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I was just surprised. Not many people have told me it's beautiful. She's so cute. I'm not good at talking with other people, so I can't deny it. So you're always quiet because... Hmm. When someone speaks to me, words don't come out, so I stay quiet. But my mom told me to look at the person's eyes when listening, so I tried to do that. We call that glaring, though. They're always so scared of me. It's been the same in middle school and high school. <sighs> but you've been nice to me, Harunukun. What? You always said hi to me, picked up my eraser, and saved me yesterday. Some of them was just by coincidence, but let's keep it a secret. So I'm glad that I can eat lunch with you today. I've always wanted to ask you, but I couldn't get the courage. Uh, talking to her? I can see clearly that she's not frightening at all. But just a pretty girl. I've been judging her just by her looks and behaviors, even though I didn't know much about her. I feel so bad. Next time, huh? I'll ask you to eat with me. I want to eat lunch with you again, Mayama-san. Really? Yeah. Great. I'm so glad. I've always been alone during lunch, so I wanted to eat with someone. And not only during lunch. I'm always alone. I have no friend. You're not alone anymore. Here, you have a friend here. Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh yeah, a friend. A friend. Whoa, why that reaction? She doesn't want me as her friend? That's too sad for both of us. Yeah, a friend. For now. Uh, well... We're friends now, so can I call you by your first name? What? Uh, Stop looking at me like that! You're scaring me! Uh, sure. Yay. <laughs> and she's so cute. She can be so scary and so cute at the same time. So we're friends now, Mayama-san. Uh. My son. Yes. And I became Mayama-san... No, my son's first friend. I hope I can get more friends now. I'm sure you will. You're nice, so you can make friends anytime. I haven't been able to make any in 16 years, you know. Uh, I was one of those people who judged her by her looks and rumors, so it's hard for me to say. Talking to her, I know that I have no reason to be afraid of her, but she needs to do something about her terrible communication skills. It took so much courage and time for her to ask me, who sits next to her and said hi to her. It seems difficult for her to communicate normally with people around her. Don't look at me like that! I don't know what to do! Ah! Huh? Why don't we practice together? Practice? Yeah! A practice for you to communicate with other people. A communication practice, yes. Actually, her looks is not that big of a problem. Being a blonde doesn't necessarily mean you're a scary person. Yes. Thanks for waiting. As you can see, she's amazingly pretty. Her blonde hair doesn't make her scary. It makes her more attractive. But... Why are you so quiet? Well, it's the first time I see you wearing something other than the school uniform. You look pretty. Uh. You look scary! You're scaring me! This is it. This is the biggest cause. She can't speak right when she gets nervous, and she glares. Intimidation of the way she glares make her look scary, and her beautiful blonde makes her look even more frightening. I don't know what to do when you tell me that I'm pretty. 
If she can say what she feels honestly like this, there wouldn't be any problem, but most people would run away or pass out when she glares. So, let's practice how you feel honestly. What I feel? Yes, then they won't misunderstand you much. What exactly do I have to do? Well... Ah, I know. Huh? Why? Your voice is fairly small. No, it's really small. Yeah, I say good morning to you every morning. But you ignore me all the time. Oops, sorry. That's shocking news. So you need to practice using a big voice. And we came here? Yes. Okay, I'll give it a try. Wow! Her voice, it's big! But she's so terrible at singing! How was it? Say something. It was very good. Sometimes it's better not to be honest. Why here? You can't pretend but be honest when you're on a roller coaster or in a haunted house. Okay. It's the best place for you to practice saying if you're having fun, feeling scared, or any kind of feelings. It feels as if we're just playing like normal. Uh, maybe you could say that. <laughs> it's like a date. <laughs> My son? Nothing. Your face looks scary. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I was scared. Which do you think was more scared, you or the ghost? I guess we're done with our practice for today. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was really a practice or not, though. Kazuka-kun? Hmm? Thank you. No. But maybe it's working. She's not glaring at me, but looking at me with a smile on her face now. Did you have... Fun today, Kazuka-kun? What? I told you it was practice, but I had fun. Even though you were with me? Of course. I had so much fun because I was with you. <gasps> um... I want to show you how I did today. I want to show you how I can say what I feel honestly. To me? What she feels about me? She's already thanked me. So what else is there? Actually, I don't want us to be friends. What? I want us to be a couple. Uh, I like you, Kazuka-kun. Uh, Kazuka-kun? Uh, well, um... I don't know what to do. I didn't expect this at all! So I can't get words to come out. It... You need to practice saying how you feel honestly too. She's right. Bonus. Oh, it's Mayama. Whoa, she's so intimidating. Uh, uh... She's gonna kill us! Good morning, Kasuga. Oh, good morning, Mai. I think I'm getting good at this lately. I can now smile at people. Yeah, it'll probably take a long time for her to make a friend number two. My name is Mikoto. I'm a third-year college student in the education department. You are really silly. Why can't you even solve a problem of that level? And this is Musubi, a senior who's mocking me. I've had a senior-junior relationship with Miss Musubi since high school. <sighs> Why am I studying? What? Maybe because you're stupid? They said college students have the summer vacation of their lives, but that's a total lie! Why is it that in addition to studying for the teacher employment exam, I have to do my teaching internship, and on top of that, my seminar graduation thesis all at the same time? You know what? Well, if you don't work hard here, how can you teach others in the future? If you understand, solve that problem as soon as possible. 
You are dumber than others, so you need to study a lot. When Miss Musubi says so, I can't say anything back. I didn't do well at school, and thanks to her teaching me how to study, I was able to go on to college. That's why I feel so indebted to Miss Musubi. I mean, you're having tea gracefully, but aren't you gonna study for the exam? Hmm? I don't need it because unlike you, I am perfect. Can you not emphasize that on purpose just to hurt my feelings? Are you done studying? No, actually I haven't finished the report for the lecture assignment yet. I'm sure you've been putting it off because you're dumbed. You said you would do it tomorrow, but in the end you didn't do it. That's not true. You should look at me and say, hmm? I'm telling you the truth. It's just that the topic of the report is difficult. I can help you if you like. What's the topic? Love. What? Huh? Love? What's that report assignment? Have you ever been in love, Miss Musubi? Wait, uh, uh, of course I have. I've bewitched 10 or 100 guys. Well, you are cute. It's natural that you're popular. Well, yeah. What can I say? But we've known each other since high school. I know very well that this person has never been with anyone. I mean, you're out of one's league since high school. Yeah, yeah. You're so beautiful, I think you were a princess somewhere. You loaded me with compliments. What? What do you want? I was gonna praise you a lot and make you embarrassed and laugh to get back at you. I'm not going to teach you anymore. Goodbye. I'm sorry! But everything I said is true. I'm not lying or anything. It's what I think every day. You're not helping. So, was love your topic? I feel like the theme is too vague. So maybe if you narrow the scope off more, it will be make it easier to write about. Oh, I see. By the way, do you like anyone, Miss Musubi? What are you asking all of a sudden? I thought it might help me with my report. How is that helpful? Well, if there is or there isn't, there is. But... Well, what do you like about that person? The way he never gives up even when he's not good at something. Or the cute way he makes I want to care for him. I see. He can be quite silly at times and sometimes he does the most outstanding things and I'm stunned. But I love everything about him. I see. What have you been writing about since a while ago? I was thinking of submitting a report on what you just said. There it is! There it is! The outlandish part! Goodness, you really make me stunned! Huh? Then one day, I was told that the seminar to which Musubi and I belonged was having a drinking party, so we decided to go. Um, ah! Isn't the pace too fast for you, Miss Musubi? You're not a big drinker, so you have to moderate your pace of drinking. You should drink more. If you don't drink, I'm going to drink it myself. You're already drunk. Here you are, Miss Musubi. Water. Mm hmm. Can I have it mouth to mouth? I'd rather not. You're reeking of alcohol. What? I got the boy, Mikoto. You are so mean. <laughs> you two are really good friends. Well, we've known each other since high school. It's funny that you say you're not in love with her. Is that so? From the outside, it looks like you're in a relationship. This is just Miss Musubi being drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> That's what all drunks say. <laughs> Mikoto, you probably don't know this, but the only time Musubi drinks until drunk is when you're around. When she drinks with us, she doesn't get this drunk. Ah! Oh, are you flirting with my Mikoto? I'm not flirting with him, right, Mikoto? Yes, that's true. Oh, but if I look closely, Mikoto might be pretty cute. If it's okay with you, would you like to have a drink with me afterwards? Of course, just the two of us. Hey, I won't allow it. Mikoto is mine. <laughs> Someone stop these drunks. Hey, Mikoto. Yes, yes, what is it? You and me. Why don't we get out of... What? Fufu, let's get out of here and go to the city for the night. <laughs> I feel ripped off. 
After that, we ended the drinking session early. Oh, you're really going home? I was rather serious earlier when I asked you out. I'm sorry. I have someone I like. <sighs> I see. Good luck with that. That's how we left everyone, and I was carrying Musubi home. Look, Miss Musubi, we'll be home soon. Mm, not good. Don't bite my ear! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> Miss Musubi, we're home! Wake up, please. Mm. Oh, well. Come to think of it, does Miss Musubi live alone? I felt somewhat stiff in a room where there was only me and Miss Musubi breathing. Uh, I'm going home then! Uh, where are you going, Nekotaro? What? Nekotaro? Was it a cat that Miss Musubi's parents kept at home? Look, Nekotaro, come here, come here! By any chance, do you see me as a cat? If you don't come, I'll go to you. Hey, Miss Musubi, I'm not Nekotaro, it's Mikotaro. I don't know what you're talking about. You're actually insane, aren't you? Hey, Nekotaro, I like to be strong here. You're completely drunk. Being hugged is not bad at all, though. But it's not a good idea to put your hands on someone when you're drunk. First of all, I heard that Musubi has someone she likes. Hey, hey, Nekotaro, look at this! Yes, yes, what is it? Huh? Why is my picture on your phone screen? This is the person I like. What? <laughs> He's younger than me, but you know, I love him. Uh. I wonder if Nekotaro has a favorite girl. If so, let's go on a double date. Is she going to double date with a cat? Before I could give a response, Musubi fell asleep as if she had run out of energy. Well... I wonder what I should look like tomorrow when I see her. Well, if she's this drunk, she'll have forgotten about today. The next day, I ran into Musubi at the university and greeted her as usual, but... Him. She looked away from me. Bye. Well, uh, yes. After that, I called out to her as we passed each other and she blatantly avoided me which continued many times. Even I could guess what was going on. Do you remember yesterday? Y yesterday What are you talking about? She definitely remembers. Um, Miss Musubi, what happened yesterday was... Well, I have to go. Wait, wait! I want to talk to you! Stop chasing me! That's because you're running away! Uh... <sighs> Why are you avoiding me? After what happened yesterday, I didn't have to face to... see you. By the way, how much do you remember about yesterday? Well, you carried me home when I was drunk. I hugged Mikoto when I was drunk. I thought you were my cat. And I confessed to you. Oh no! It's too embarrassing! You remember almost everything. <laughs> I'm done with me. I've been trying to be the cool senior in front of Mikoto, but... So such a shameful behavior in front of you. Disillusioned you, didn't I? I don't think so. Yes, yesterday was pretty bad. But that doesn't stop Miss Musubi from doing what you have done for me. Mikoto. So, uh, cheer up. Well... Why? I thought I just cheered you up, but now you're sighing! There's another reason why I have no face to see you. It's because you didn't push me down into bed yesterday! What?! I can't believe you didn't touch me yesterday when I was so defenseless. I guess I'm that unattractive as a woman. I feel like I beat myself up for being in high spirits when Mikoto said I was cute. <laughs> No, no! It's true that Miss Musubi is cute! Then why didn't you push me down into bed? If it was okay to push you down, I would have done it too! You lied to me! It's because I wasn't attractive anyway! The only reason I didn't push you down is... Uh, I didn't push you down because... I like you, Miss Musubi. 
What? I know you're lying. If you like someone, you usually want to push it down, don't you? Some people might be like that. But I want to have such a thing with someone I like when we both want. I didn't want that with drunk and unconscious Miss Musubi. That's like an agreement. It's okay to let the mood take over you. No, because the first time is just one time, right? I don't want to just go with the flow. You're such a pain in the ass, but I like that part too. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you know what? That means we are in love with each other, right? So, I'm wondering what's going to happen to us. Sh shouldn't we go out or something? I see. Going out. Yes. So we should hold hands, hug each other, kiss each other. I see. That kind of makes me too happy. My heart is full of it. Miss Musubi. I'm an inexperienced person, but I'm looking forward to spend time with you. Thus, Miss Musubi and I started going out. Bonus manga. Nekotaro has a girlfriend. Oh, that's good to hear. So I think we should double date. That was for real? My name is Yoichi Furia. I'm a junior in high school and I'm just a typical introvert, but... Hey, 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 who do you think you are? For some reason, I'm surrounded by scary guys. What in the world is going on? The reason why this is happening goes back to 10 minutes ago. Uh, uh, wow, are you okay? Uh, who are you? I'm just an ordinary introverted high school student from nearby. Uh, you're just an ordinary citizen. I don't have time to be messing with you right now. Go away quickly. And that's when the scary guys appeared there. It seems like the girl was chased by this scary guy, and I happened to be at the scene. A couple of adults are going against one girl? Aren't you embarrassed? What the heck, you idiot? Do you want to get beaten up? Uh, I'm not sure, but it seems like the girl will be in danger if I left her alone. The police! I'm gonna call the police! I got her emblem on my back. There's no way I'd get scared and run away just for the police. Don't underestimate us. Just because you're an ordinary citizen, if you keep saying stupid things, I'll beat you up. Hey, those guys aren't going to just cooperate that easily. You'd better stay back. No way. Are you gonna fight even though you're already pretty beaten up? <laughs> ordinary citizens will probably never understand. We're in the business of selling men. I'm a leader with our emblem on my back, so I can never turn tail and run away. Just because I'm chased by some underlings from somewhere. My heart skipped a beat. Oh, wow. She's super cool. What is this feeling? Can this be, by any chance, love? What the heck are you saying? Like I said, I've fallen in love with you, so I'm gonna help you. Huh? huh? What are you saying? What the heck? Are you gonna protect her? If so, I'm not gonna give you any mercy. Just shut up and bring it on. I'm actually a little strong. Crap, I'll get back at you! I am a champion! Uh, did you see how brave I was? Did you think I was cool? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Hello? Are you okay? My heart skipped a beat. What? Uh, um, your name, please. It's Yoichi Furia. Yoichi, will you... Will you be our young boss? What? What's going on? We've got a young boss now! Let's party! Bring some sake! Oh, my hubby! No way! How did it become like this? After what happened earlier, she said she wanted to thank me. I just let her lead me and I was taken to the living room. And before I realized it, this is what's going on. I found out her name for the first time there. I'm the leader of Aragaki Gumi, that's ruling over this area. My name is Asahi Aragaki. I can't thank you enough for saving me this time. With that being said, I want you to take this cup of sake and become the new young boss for Aragaki Gumi. That's what she says. 
Aragaki Gumi is famous as the strongest Yakuza group around here. I never imagined the leader of the group was such a young girl. No, wait a minute, this is happening so suddenly! What's wrong, hubby? Why are you calling me hubby? I like darling better! Is that what you're concerned about? I'm actually happy to be called hubby by a girl I like! Oh, you're so silly! Don't embarrass me in front of the young guys! I have a hard time keeping my dignity! Right, it seems like we like each other. She said something like she fell in love with how brave I was. I've never had a girlfriend, so I'll treat you nicely for the rest of my life. It's also my first time to get a boyfriend. Please treat me nicely. Sure thing. Then, can you take my cup? I can't do that. How come? Right, that's the problem. I'm not planning on becoming Yakuza. Why is that? Anti-social forces can never be good. Are you gonna tell me that even though I'm a Yakuza? It's true. Then, if you had known I was a Yakuza, would you not have helped me? That, I still would've. Wow, so cool! <laughs> well, I understand what you're saying, but this is also for your own sake. For my sake? The guys who were chasing after me are from the group we're currently fighting against. Once you come in contact with them, they'll give you no mercy even when you're an ordinary citizen. In order to return the favor to a prince who saved my life, I'll make my underlings protect you by making you the young boss with my authority. I'll be fine, even if you don't protect me, because I'm kind of strong. What's up with you being just a little humble? I'm from a multi-generational family of martial artists, so I've been forced to do training ever since I was small. That's why you're so strong. But I've never won against my father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, or my sister. You're that strong. But you're the weakest in the family. That's outrageous. No, I'm the second weakest. The weakest one is my pet brown bear. Isn't it pathetic to bring the pet out? No, that's not what you should be pointing out. Shh, it's gotta be a lie that he's stronger than a brown bear. She purposely didn't say anything so she won't embarrass him. I see. But you know, it's pretty hard to keep a brown bear. Here, I got my body scraped right here. Uh huh? That's so wild! What they've been talking about has been really off. Shh, don't think, just feel! To get back on the topic, that's not the only reason I want to make you the young boss. What is that? I want to be with you. My heart skipped a beat. So cute. Then what about you becoming an ordinary citizen? Don't be silly. I've succeeded this emblem for my father. The reason why this is happening goes back to 10 minutes ago. I knew it. That was just an idea. No matter how you try to oppose it, you can only join our group. I've already made it known to the members of my group. Then, this is all I can say. I'll never be the young boss! What the heck, you punk? Are you gonna reject her kindness so flatly? Shut your mouth, guys! Like you just saw it. You never know what those ranged guys in my group will do. This means you can only join my group, and you're gonna be my husband. I'm... I'm not gonna be the young boss! What? Huh? What are you thinking? I'm kind of strong, so it doesn't matter how many people attack me. Therefore, threatening me like that won't work. My heart skipped a beat. So cool. I like you. What? Was he cool? Shh. If she hears you, she's gonna beat you up. <laughs> what is it? Do you not like Yakuza's that much? The more I think about it, I don't think what you're doing is good. So, I won't join the group. And, I'll make you an ordinary citizen and call me Darling! Hey, it doesn't matter if she called him Hubby or Darling, does it? I'd like to be called Honey! What? With all that was going on, I had her teach me a lot of things about Yakuza starting the next day. If you use common sense, learning about antisocial forces is in violation of compliance rules, isn't it? Your compliance awareness is high. You said you succeeded the leader position from your father. But why did you do that? Is it because of your father? Well, I don't deny that I was influenced by my father, but it was my will to inherit the group. I'm not sure how to put it, but I was attracted by their way of life. It's almost like the samurai spirit. You value honor above life kind of thing? 
That's right. For us, pride is more valuable than life. Even if I die miserably, I'll never swallow my pride. I see. Plus, the members of this group are my family who took my cup. Some guys have taken care of me since I was barely walking. I'd feel bad if I just abandoned those guys and lived as an ordinary citizen. That's why you decided to succeed the group. May I ask where your father is right now? He was arrested by the police. Uh, I didn't want to join the group after all. One day after a while... <laughs> hey, our leader is crying! Who in the world made her cry? It's me. You punk! Shut your mouth, guys! Silence! <laughs> you were crying one moment and then you yelled and started crying again. You're emotionally super unstable. Because he won't take my cup. I tried so hard to persuade you. For this long, all I've heard is disturbing stories like your dad was arrested by the police, you chopped off the member's fingertip, and you sank a member in the Tokyo Bay. Honestly, I don't want to join the group even more now. What? How come? If I said I wanted to join after what you said, I must be insane. I guess you're right. Are you gonna admit it? I thought Yakuza was pretty crazy as I was explaining it. What? You're the one who brought it up. Anyway, do you wanna take my cup? I wanna share a cup. That's not what taking my cup means! I wanna do it too, though! Why aren't these two getting together? Well, one is an ordinary citizen and the other is a leader of a group. That means this is a forbidden love. What are you saying? I got it. If you're not gonna change your mind, I'm gonna give up. Oh, that actually make me sad. What the heck? It's annoying when somebody's chasing you. But when the person stops chasing you, you kind of feel sad, you know? You're annoying! You just want attention, don't you? But I like how you're like that! You're giving up on me, so that means you're gonna stay here, right? You won't become an ordinary citizen with me, is that right? Yeah, I can never abandon my family and return to being an ordinary citizen on my own. I actually want to stay with you, but we're an ordinary citizen and Yakuza to begin with. Our love was impossible after all. I can't cause trouble to an ordinary citizen anymore. I see. <laughs> That's too harsh. She finally got a guy she actually likes, but now they have to break up. <laughs> you idiot, don't cry. She's not even crying. Why should we be crying? She was sobbing a while ago. See you then. I had fun until today, Yoichi. Hmm, me too. Even though it was short, I had fun, Asahi. <laughs> mm. Like this, I was about to break up with Asahi. Um, this is it. So I can do this, right? Just a kiss? Okay then, goodbye now. I'm gonna join the group. What? 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 I'm gonna join the group. What? What, what are you saying? Do you know what it means to join the group? An ordinary citizen shouldn't say it so easily. Our world is a lot more dangerous than you think. What? You're the one who brought it up. Uh, no, wait a minute. I'm confused. W why did you change your mind all of a sudden? Because you kissed me. What? When a girl you like kisses you, you know how you get carried away and can't help but sacrifice your body and mind and even your family. Don't sacrifice your family. Right now, you also get a brown bear. I don't want it. I've always had my mind set that I was going to spend the rest of my life with the girl whom I first kissed. I'm not good enough? My heart skipped a beat. Uh, yes, if you're okay with me, um, I'd love to be your partner. Uh, with all that was going on, Asahi and I lived happily ever after. Hubby? I want to be called Darling. I'm not used to saying darling. Just be content with hubby. No, I don't want to. Then we have to settle this over a fist fight. I guess that's the only way. What? What are they fighting over? I want to be called honey! You <laughs> just shut up. Mr. Fumiya Kazami, 
You are fired. I was working for a famous exploitative game company. One day, Koto Hatsuchiya, the president's secretary, told me that. Um, can I ask you why? I believe you know why. Tsuchiya san spoke to me in a cold tone. She's beautiful but cool and cold to everyone, and has an inaccessible aura. For that reason, I heard that no one approaches her. I kind of understood why. Perhaps, is it because of what happened with the producer? One time, I argued with the producer. It all started because the arrogant way he talked about the creators made me mad. He began to see me as an enemy since then, and I was no longer assigned to his projects. Unfortunately, he has a strong connection with the president, and I guess that's why they are firing me. The producer has always told me that you are not worthy to work for our company. When you work in the game production industry, it's common to work over time. But you won't work over time. You haven't accomplished much, but you speak with the authority of a professional. With all due respect, the application we launched a few days ago is still in top place in the sales rankings. What are you talking about? It's the producer's achievement. I see. He took credit for all the work. He doesn't have any respect for the creators. Well, it's all decided now. <laughs> Do you regret what happened between you and the producer? Tsuchiya san spoke to me while I was getting my things together. Of course not. I'm not sorry for what I've said to him. I see. Then, as I've said, you are fired. Thank you for the work you've done for us. Yes. And as of this moment, I'm fired too. Huh? W what? We will both go freelance. As a matter of fact, I have a proposal for you. With that, Tsuchiya san made an appointment to see me and left briskly. I was left alone confused. Hey, Fumiya! Is it true that you're quitting? Hibiki Mizuno, one of my staffs, spoke to me. Behind her was another staff, Eri Hibari. Oh, I'm sorry that all of this is happening so suddenly. C can't you do anything about it? My staffs, Hibiki Mizuno and Eri Hibari, they were precious staffs who had always supported me until today. No, an ordinary employee like us cannot disobey our boss. Well, take care. Mm. I hope they will do fine. A few days later, I was meeting up with Tsuchiya san at a cafe nearby, like we talked about. I apologize for keeping you waiting, Kazami san. Oh. What's wrong? Uh, oh, no, it's just that you look gorgeous. I just couldn't keep my eyes off you. I'm sorry. Uh. Huh? Tsuchiya san? It was the first time I was complimented by a man. For a moment, my mind wasn't functioning. Huh? No one has ever complimented you? But you are really beautiful. Oh, uh, th that's enough. Enough of compliment. No, I'm not flattering. You are really amazing, Tsuchiya san. Have confidence in yourself. But I'm a stone faced and friendly woman. Do you really think that I'm amazing? Of course. <sighs> Tsuchiya san! Oh, uh, steam is coming out from your head! Perhaps Tutia san is more interesting than I've imagined. Let's go back to the story. I'm sorry, my head was overheating. <clears throat> well, let's get down to business. You told me that you had a proposal for me. What is it exactly? I want you to make a video game with me. Huh? A video game? Yes. Would it be difficult? Uh, um, just the two of us will make a video game? About that? I'd like to introduce you to two more people. With Tucci a sun signal, familiar faces showed up. Hey, Fumiya! H Hello, Fumiya san. W what are you doing here? Well, we heard that you were quitting. So we quit too! What? Uh, I quit for the same reason as Hibiki. What in the world were you thinking? Don't blame them. I was the one who invited them. You? Since Kazami-san was quitting, I asked them if they wanted to join us and make video games. I get it. All of us here are friends who want to make video games with you. What do you say? Do you want to make video games with us? How come you all quit to be with me? It's all 
love you because we want to make video games with you, Fumia. Uh, hey, Hibiki. You have to show respect to your superior. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to Hibiki. Well, you wanted to join me. After all what they've said to me, it's not manly to say no to them. Above all, they may enable me to create video games that I actually desire, which has been a long-held ambition of mine. I get it. I'm in. Ugh, seriously? Fumiya-san. It's decided then. This is how I started making video games with them. Eri is in charge of designing. Hibiki is in charge of sound effects. And Tutiya-san can do programming. When we thought about video games we can create together, we decided to create a Gyaru game. Fumiya-san will be in charge of the whole project in the scenario. I know you got double work to do, but I'll be supporting you with the production of the project. We decided to use my room as a workplace, and we started to work on the project. Check out this wonderful plot! OMG! Huh, <sighs> I see. Uh. <laughs> I guess you're so moved that you are speechless. I don't get what's so good about this. Um. This is unacceptable. I didn't understand the part where the enemy was coming from space to conquer the Earth. But how come they are trying to conquer the world with a romantic comedy? Well, they are brainwashing people with romance comedy videos. Oh, does that have to be a romantic comedy video? Oh, here it goes. You're one of those people who seek meanings in everything, and if you can't, you simply dispose of it. What? Am I to be blamed here? No, it's for Mia's fault. Kazami-san. Yes? Please rewrite the plot. I was having a hard time writing the plot. I mean, I didn't have any idea. Um... Huh? You look like you came up against a brick wall. Uh, Hibiki! I told you not to hug me. Ah, oh, come on, it's no big deal. Hibiki is bright, active, and friendly. Since she's gorgeous, there were quite a few guys who were after her. She's far too friendly in my opinion. All of the boys have misinterpreted her and fallen head over heels in love with her. I can assist you if you're having difficulties. Really? Then can I ask you a favor? Sure! Hey, where are you sitting? I can see the screen well from here. I can't see well, and neither can I concentrate. Thanks to Hibiki, I was able to advance, but I'm far from finishing. Mm. Fumiya-san, the plot is not finished yet. Oh, Eri! Actually, no. My bad. I know that you cannot proceed to design without a plot. I... Uh, it's okay. Forget about me. Um, do you need a hand? Oh, really? Then can I ask you a favor? Uh, sure. Eri is shy and not good at communicating with others, but she's sweet and when she sees someone in trouble, she offers to help. And there's something that a lot of people don't know. Oh, I get it. This is how the story deploys. I see. She's as gorgeous as Hibiki too. Because of her long bangs, you can rarely see her face, but when you do, you would notice that she is adorable as a pop star. Uh, do I have something on my face? You were staring at me. Oh, my bad, nothing. I have to concentrate on my work. Thanks to them, we have advanced very well. Mm. Are you still troubled? Huh? Well, yeah. It's almost done, but I'd like to add one different element to it. I see. If you'd like, I can help. Oh no, I don't want to bother you. Hibiki and Eri have already helped me. Now it's up to me to work hard. I see. I get it. Huh? She looks sad for some reason. Am I wrong? Not long after, the plot was completed and we started making the video game at full scale. We were going very smoothly with the production of the video game, and one night, they all decided to sleep over in my room. 
Well then, we should start the girls' night. Yes! Hey, Hibiki, keep it down. Fumiya-san might wake up. Oops, my bad! While I was sleeping, a girls' night had begun. I'm really awake though. I couldn't possibly confess. I might as well just pretend that I'm sleeping. Everyone, game production is important. But there is something equally important. It's about Kazami-san. You too love Kazami-san, correct? <clears throat> yes, I love him! Uh, yeah... Chichiya! You love him too, right? Yes, I do. R really Yes. There is no point in hiding it. How come you two love Fumiya-san? He treated us very well! Y yes Fumiya-san was very kind to us. Um... I was attracted by his personality. How about you, Chuchiya? How did you fall in love with him? Originally, I was a fan of Fumiya-san's work. And after I met him, I was drawn to his personalities. Oh, I see. This means that we are rivals. This is exciting. Uh, there is no way I can win over you guys. Anyway, first of all, we have to concentrate on making the video game. There is no way we can say that we couldn't make one because we are addicted to love. We've already invested a great deal of money in it. I know! But making video games continually wears you down too. So motivation is a great factor. Uh, yes. That's correct. So to raise our motivation, why not try this? The person who contributed the most to the production of the video game gets to date Fumiya-san. I'm in trouble. From the next day, the girls were working energetically. Hey, Fumiya! Please listen to this BGM! This is incredible, isn't it? Hibiki, I told you not to hug me! Hibiki has always made a lot of physical contacts, but she's doing it more now than ever before. Uh, excuse me, Fumiya-san. Um, what do you think about this character design? Huh? Oh, very well, but what's with your bangs? Um, they were getting in a way when I was drawing. What, what do you think? Do I look good? Y yeah you look very well. Uh, really? I'm glad to hear that. Eddie is becoming more stylish than before. I mean, now that I think about it, I'm not sure how I managed to stay cool while working with these three beauties. While I was thinking about that... Um... Huh? Tsuchiya san, is everything alright? Would you mind paying more attention to me? Huh? Oh, nothing. What was that all about? And then the game was completed. It was already very popular from the demo version and was selling very well. We received a new brand award in the Sarobedo Romance Comedy Award the following year, which contributed to gaining publicity. By the way, the company where I worked before lost its reputation due to poor business performance. But that's a whole different story. And... Kazami-san, who do you think has contributed most to the production of this video game? The moment has arrived. Um, can't we say that we all worked hard for it? Of course not! Why do you think we worked so hard? He... he Hibiki... We agree not to say that. Well, actually, I know everything. Well then, who has contributed the most? Well... This is how we continued making video games. Bonus! Tutia san I'm sure you are tired of programming. I appreciate it. You deserve a reward for your hard work. Well then, can you pat my head please? Here you go. I am Stella, goddess of the fountain. Is it this golden axe you dropped? Or is it the silver axe? My name is Makoto Hizaki. I am a gloomy second year high school student. Just a few days ago, I was walking home from school in a daze when I dove in this fountain. And when I came to, a woman who claimed to be the goddess of the fountain was standing in front of me. You look like a goddess! I'm not like a goddess. I'm a real goddess. By the way, I was the one who fell into the fountain. Why the axe? 
It is a rule that if a human being drops something in the fountain, he or she is asked this question. Oh, that's the rule. Now, which one did you drop? Well, the golden axe. No, you didn't. Why? You get so angry. This is the part where you tell me you didn't drop either one of them. And this is the part where I say I'll give this to you for being such an honest person. But they say gold is stable in value. And it's good money if you sell it when you're in trouble. Hey, hey, hey. Don't think about such a cruel and realistic fact. I think gold is full of dream. I told you that's not right, okay? I'm going to ask you the same thing one more time. And this time, I want you to give me the right answer, okay? I didn't know I can get another chance to do this. Well, did you drop this golden axe or the silver axe? Then I'll take the silver axe. What? I told you to give me the right answer! No, I don't know the value of the silver, but I think I can sell it just in case. Oh my god! Why young people these days are advanced for their age and have nothing to dream of? It looks like you won't give me the axe, so I'm going home. No, please wait. I'm not sure why you're lying on the ground. In order to go home, I have to wake up from this dream first, right? I'm sorry. But this is real, and you'll only get dirt all over your wet clothes if you lie down in such a place. Oh, I forgot that I fell into the fountain and got soaking wet earlier when I was feeling chilly. Are you... airhead? Back to the subject. Then I'll ask you one more time. This is your last chance. Please, make sure you give me the correct answer, okay? You're saying the same thing over and over again. Shut up. I mean... <laughs> If you're going to go that far to give me something, why not just give it to me already? No, you can't. No, there is a rule. Okay, all about rules. Well, is it this gold axe you dropped? Or is it a silver axe? Well, it's kind of irritating to answer honestly here. Please answer quickly. She is scary. Neither one. Hmm. Good. You answered honestly. I took a long detour. Shut up. You're so angry. Well, since you're such an honest person, I'll give you a present. What? Now then, sign this marriage certificate. Then I am yours. What? What? After being confronted with a marriage proposal by Stella, who claims to be the goddess of the fountain... Makoto, it's morning. Wake up. You are trespassing. Do you think human laws apply to me? <laughs> Good morning, Makoto. I am being stalked by a goddess. At first, I thought it was just a dream, but... Nice to meet you, father and mother of Mr. Makoto. I'm Sta, and I'll be living here starting today. Yes. Nice to meet you, Stella. Mom! It's a small house. But you can make yourself at home. Dad! And for some reason, she started living in our house as a matter of course. I asked her what kind of magic trick she had used. I'm a goddess, you know. I did a little bit by divine power. What are you doing to my parents? Don't worry. They won't be harmed. Moreover, this goddess of the fountain came not only to my home, but also to my school. I'm Stella Izumi. I transferred to this class today. Oh, oh wow! She's, she's so, so cute. cute! By the way, I love Makoto. I'm looking forward to my school life with you guys. What? You must be joking! This is how I came to believe that Stella is a goddess. I'm surprised that you finally admit that I'm a goddess. You are quite stubborn. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've been going through, goddess. What? I'm sorry for all the disrespect I've shown you without knowing that you're a goddess. Hey, um, Makoto, I'm not sure what's going on all of a sudden. But you can call me Stella. You don't have to be so respectful. No, no, no. That's very, very rude of you, goddess. No, no. I'm more happy if you call me in an informal way, like you've been doing. I can't do that. Now that I know you are a goddess, I, as a devout Buddhist, cannot address you as a goddess, let alone talk to you as my friend. What? You can just call me by my name. 
If it's like this, I shouldn't have said I'm a goddess. Ugh. If you want me to call you that, I'll call you by your name. Huh? But, but, you can't because you're a Buddhist. I don't have any religion. I didn't believe in God until now. What? I was just teasing you earlier. You get a lot of punishment for making fun of God. You're so angry. So, Makoto, when are you going to sign our marriage certificate? I won't sign it. Yes, I've been refusing since the day she confronted me with the marriage certificate. That's why I'm being followed around like this. Why? You have never had a girlfriend, have you? You've never been popular, right? You're hurting me by telling me facts! I mean, how do you know? Because I'm a goddess. Does God have no concept of privacy? And I've been watching you for a long time. Are you a stalker? Don't put me with that kind of thing. She is not aware that what she is doing is the same. What are you complaining about? Isn't it great for a boy to be able to marry a goddess? Well, Stella is beautiful like a goddess, but... Makoto, I'm not like a goddess. I'm a real goddess. But before marriage, I'm a little traumatized by the idea of going out with a girl. Trauma? Yes. That was when I was an innocent first-year high school student. Now you're distorted. I'm so sad. Whatever. There was a girl I liked at the time. I was doing pretty well with her, and I thought she might like me too. So I gathered up my courage and confessed my feelings to her. The next day, I happened to overhear this girl in class talking behind my back to the girls in the class. She said like, if she's a little nice to me, I misunderstand and annoy her. I should look in the mirror and come back. I was the only one who thought we were getting along. And it was annoying for her. Mako? I know. What? I saw it. It must have been hard for you. You must have been sad. You could have resented that girl, and yet you didn't resent her. I'm the one who caused her to reject me. Even so, you didn't deserve to be talked about behind your back. You are a very kind person. But because you are kind, you don't hold grudges against others. You hold everything in your own hands. It would be so much easier if you just blamed others. You say it as if you can see right through people. Because I'm a goddess. Does God have no concept of privacy? I believe that a kind person like you should be equally happy. So please, sign this marriage certificate! How did you end up there? I will make you happy. No, I don't need it. Why? I'm still a little traumatized. Scared of girls. Don't worry, I'm not like that girl. Maybe so, but I'm not getting married. I don't know Stella that well. You mean, after we get to know each other better? Fine, I will tell you everything about me. What do you want to know? Is it my bust waist hip measurements? Or the color of my underwear? I don't want to know either. You are so honest. Since you are such an honest person, I will tell you both. Please leave me alone. You know, Stella likes me, right? Yes, I do. Don't I say so? Why? Hmm, didn't I tell you? Because I've been watching you. Because you were watching me? Looking back, it was probably closer to love at first sight when I started looking at you. I somehow became interested in you and kept looking at you. I was attracted to you because you were kind and did not resent people even when girls you liked talked about you behind your back. I wanted to heal your broken heart. So, I dropped you into the fountain with my divine powers that time. Was that Stella's doing? Yes! So it was Stella's fault that I caught a cold after that. It was Stella's fault, right? Oh, Makoto! I heard that eggs are on sale today. If you don't hurry, they will be sold out. She is not very good at deceiving. Well, she's not a bad girl though. And one day... I heard that my parents won't be home today, so I'll cook the meal. You mean Makoto's homemade food? I can't cook something that fancy, but... Ouch! Makoto, are you okay? It's been a while since I've cut myself. 
Let me see. The moment Stella touched my hand, a bad memory flashed through my mind, and I reflexively shook her hand away. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry, Stella. That was... I know, I know. You are afraid of girls, aren't you? I know. That was just a reflexive thing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did it hurt when I shook you off? No, but... Even though I'm a goddess, even though I said I wanted to heal your heart, I couldn't heal it at all. I was just forcing my feelings on you, you know? Stella, that's not true. It's okay. The fact that you haven't responded to my feelings no matter how long it takes is the best proof of this. I'm a useless goddess. I'm sorry! Hey, Stella! Shoot! I hurt her. What am I doing? I hurried after her, thinking I should apologize, but as expected, she is a goddess. I no longer know where she went. Stella! Where did you go? Ugh, I was in a hurry and didn't look at my feet. When I came to, I was just in the fountain. Why? There's a fountain in such a place. I am Dandy, the male god of the fountain. Something came up. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry right now. Well, wait a minute, boy. Did you drop this marriage certificate that allows you to marry this super popular cute idol or this super popular cool beauty actress? I didn't drop either one. I'll present both to thee, honest man. There you go. Take it. No, thank you. I'm in a hurry. Are you sure about it? An idol and an actress? I don't want it. I'd rather be with Stella right now than with those people from who knows where. Well then. Since you are so truly honest, I will present you with this marriage certificate to the goddess. What? Isn't this what Stella has been... It is the one that the fountain goddess ran towards me crying and dropped off a while ago. It must be very important. Thou shalt take it with thee. Thank you! Well, honest boy. Good luck. Gotcha! Makoto? Why are you here? I just wanted to apologize for earlier. Sorry. Stella, it's my fault. I hurt you. Oh no. I was the one who didn't think about you, Makoto. No, that was totally my fault. I didn't respond to Stella's feelings and ran away from you. I was scared. I didn't want to go through that again. Makoto. But Stella is different from that girl. I'm sorry. I'm going to think about Stella properly from now on. I know it's not going to happen right away, but I want to answer your feelings properly. I'll do my best. So, I want you to stay with me a little longer. Is that okay? If it's okay with Stella. Of course it's okay! <laughs> Tears are adding to the volume of the fountain. Oh my god! Makoto said something that made me cry! And so, Stella and I lived together after that. Bonus Manga Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. You are the one... What are you doing in my room? I was wondering if my daughter was doing okay in the human world. Your daughter? Excuse me, Makoto. Oh, father! Father? Oh, yes. I am Stella's father. Boo, why are you here? Hurry back to the fountain. No, I'm worried about you. Just go home, you're annoying. Okay, bye. Poor dad. I'm Minato, an 11th grader in high school. I have a sister two years older than me. Her name is Yui. <sighs> Huh? It's morning, Minato-chan! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, wake up or I'll kiss you! I don't want a kiss from my real sister! Glad you're back! I saw mom waving from the heaven! She looked well? Yeah... Good. 
Now get changed or you'll be late for school. I help you. Take off your pajamas. No. Yes, as you probably know by now, my sister adores me insanely. It all started when our mom passed away due to sickness. I'm going to be your mom, Minato-chan. My sister took care of me so that I wouldn't feel lonely without mom. I depended on her entirely until I got in middle school. I'll feed you your breakfast, Minato-chan. It was too late when I noticed our situation. Hey, sis, I'm a high school student now. You don't have to act like mom anymore, you know? I'm grateful that you cook and do all kinds of things for me, but I want you to be happy too. Butterflies, you're too sweet, Minato-chan. I love you. So get a boyfriend and be happy. Then you can be my boyfriend. We're siblings. Boo, are you telling me that you don't want me to be your girlfriend? Of course not. <laughs> huh? Minato-chan hates me! <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Then, will you go out with me? You faked it? I can't be too careful around you, sis! This is our everyday life. One day, she's Mei-chan. She'll be living with us from today. Nice to meet you. We got new members to our family. Dad got remarried. The woman he remarried was so beautiful that it was no wonder Dad fell in love with her. And Mei-san was her daughter. Wow! You're as beautiful as your mother! Oh, thank you. As my sister said, she was such a beauty and they were the same age. I guess I have another sister now. Huh? I'm his number one sister, okay? Oh, I see. Mei-san seemed cool and did not react to my sister's words. Great! I've always wanted a cool sister like her. What? I need to throw Mei-chan away to keep my position as your sister! I'll throw you away if you say something like that. No! Don't leave me! <sighs> well, this is us. I hope you can get along. Dad later told us that Mei-chan's father passed away due to disease as well, and she's not excited about our getting remarried. I'm sorry to ask you, but please get along with her for me. That's what he told us. Needless to say, I wanted to get along with Mei-san, so I tried to speak to her. But... We have snacks! Do you want to eat together, Mei-san? No, thank you. I don't like sweets. Oh, okay. Did you watch TV yesterday? Uh, no. I don't watch TV. Oh, uh, okay. I failed every time. Hmm... Are you feeling down, Minato-chan? You look so cute! Let me take a picture of you. I want to exchange you with Mei-san. Huh? You don't want me as your blood-related sister so that we can get married? You love me that much? I'm so happy! Huh? I didn't know that you were crazy. I don't know why her grades at school is higher than the average. Hey, sis! Do you have any idea how to get along with Mei-san? <laughs> I have an idea. I'm having a bad feeling about this. We have a custom of taking a bath together in Japan since the ancient times. Now I'm having a good feeling all of a sudden. I'm going to ask Mei-chan to have a bath with me. Good, that would be a great view. Don't try to peek just because you wanted to see me. No, I have no interest in you, sis. But if you insist, you can take a peek. You shouldn't say that. Wow, your skin is so smooth, Mei-chan. Um, I can wash myself. I envy you for having such a nice figure. You have a pretty good figure yourself. Damn, why can't I join them? I could only picture them in my mind, hearing their conversation outside. I wish I was a girl. We can hear you, Minato-chan! That's helpless. 
How did you get Mason to have a bath with you? She would say no, right? I told her that I would cry if she said no, and she agreed to join me. She might be surprisingly nice. Lately, I've been trying to get to know Mason better, but have failed everything so far. Why? Why do you care so much about me? She asked me suddenly. Is it weird that I want to get to know you better because we're a family? I don't understand. We were total strangers a while ago. But we're family now! I think it's better if we get along when we live under the same roof! I agree, but I... You were against our parents getting remarried, weren't you? You still don't like living with us? That's... Or is it me? I guess I was being selfish for wanting to get to know you better, but I wish you could get along at least with my sister. It's not that I don't like you. I'm just confused with us being a family. I really want my mom to be happy, but it feels weird having new members in our family. Is that why you were against their marriage? I can't help but wonder if mom doesn't love my dad anymore. And I don't like myself when I think like that. Well, I kind of understand what you're trying to say. We're going through the same things, but you're trying to get along with me. That makes me realize how narrow-minded I am. And I hate myself for that. I just hate myself. You don't have to blame yourself that much. I think what you're feeling is quite normal. My sister and I are just too easygoing. That's not true. I'm so helpless. I can't be happy with my new family. And I can't be happy for my mom who has raised me by herself. I'm pathetic. You're so negative. I want to become a clothespin in my next life. Why? A clothespin is great. You can use it for lots of things like holding your laundry and using it as a clip. You can use it for everything, but I'm just useless. I hate myself. Maybe she's funny. Look, Mason, cheer up! I want to be a flea. Do you know what you need to do when you feel like that? You need to have some fun! And let's eat something delicious! You think like that when you're hungry. You're younger than me, and you're trying to make me feel better. <sighs> Why is she like this? I took Mason around the town to cheer her up. You've just moved here, so you don't know much, right? They have good ramen here. Yeah, it's good. Are you feeling better now? I want to be a seasoned bamboo shoot in my next life. I guess you are. You need to go see an eye doctor if you think a person saying that she wants to be a seasoned bamboo shoot is feeling better. She seems well enough to point that out to me. Going around the town with Mason, I've got to know her a little better. Oh, this crap is good. Huh? I thought you didn't like sweets. I just told you that to say no. I guess she liked sweets and she soon got cheerful. I've decided to feed her sweets when she got herself in the negative mode. And naturally, she gets lots of attention. Hey you, do you want to go for coffee with me? She gets invitations like this all the time, just walking around town. When he's feeling well... I'm not interested. She turns down at once, but when she's in her negative mode... Oh, if you want to spend time with someone worse than a cold spin... She accepts those invitations, so... We're on a date now, so please go away! Shoo! Shoo! I have to make them go away. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Um, Minato kun. Um, thank you. No worries, we're family. Not only for saving me now, but you've been very kind to me. Now I feel better. That's great. It was worth spending all my money then. You're a good boy, Minato kun. Huh? Didn't like it? it? Yes, I just didn't expect it to stroke me on my head. <laughs> I actually wanted a younger brother, so I'm glad that my dream came true. I can finally feel happy about my mom getting remarried. Th that's good to hear. Here. When is she going to stop stroking my head? It's kind of embarrassing. We've got closer after this. Do you want snack, Minato-kun? Here, open your mouth. Aren't we being too close, though? 
My sister was surprised the most about the change in our relationship. What? She stole my Minato Kon! He's my brother! No, she didn't! Uh, Minato Kun, you have stuff around your mouth. Here. Th thank you! <laughs> no worries. I'm your sister. Butterflies! Thank you, sister! <laughs> I'll help you with your studies after this. Yeah! You're good at teaching, Mason. You haven't called me a sister for a while! Call me sister too! <laughs> Your sis to me! No! <laughs> she lost as my sister to Mason. So one day she said abruptly, Mason! Let's compete to see which one's a better sister for me, Nadokun! What in the world is she talking about? A competition? <laughs> you can say no if you want to. I'm going to be Minato-kun's best sister then. Okay, I'll do it. What? Seriously? I told you, Minato-kun. I always wanted a brother. Of course, I have to be your best sister now that I have such a cute brother like you. Really? Just like that, the competition began. My sis insisted that they should compete which was more sister-like. Why do I have to lie on your lap? This is what a sister does, right? Really? Ugh, she's so sister-like. Not good enough. Don't be so negative. Here, your favorite sarabado pudding. So sweet. It's my turn now. How do you like, um, lying on my lap? Well, um... It feels so... soft. Okay, I'm glad you liked it. Why are you guys being so sweet? I don't like it! And the competition went on, and... I'll clean your ear for you. Uh, I'll do it too. We can take turns cleaning each ear for an hour. My ears are gonna bleed. What a sister needs? It's tolerance. Okay, Minato-kun, let's show Mei-chan how a sister and a brother hug each other passionately. That doesn't make sense. Here you go. You feel smaller than before. You're completely covered in my arms. What is this? Was Minato-kun this big? Um, well, I think it's enough. It's my turn now. Oh, sure. Here you go. Excuse me, um... As if I can lose everything. What are you talking about? I guess you got the most tolerance of us three. You're the most sister like me, Natakun. My sis is just crazy. We've done a lot of things, but couldn't come to a conclusion. What does being sister like mean in the first place? Huh? You're the one who started it. We can't decide which one is a better sister. Hmm. What should we do? Uh, who cares now? I'm proud having both of you as my sisters. What? What? I've never felt alone thanks to you, sis. You're a really good cook. You've been a big help to me. I respect you not only as my sister, but also as a person. Except for the part where you love me too much. Butterfly, me not too good. You're very dependable, Mei-san. I respect you as well, though you can get too negative. You're both great sisters to me, and you're both number one to me. I think we can leave it at that. Yeah, you're right. Let's make up, Mei-chan! Yes, let's make up. We should adore Minato-kun together as his sisters. Yeah! I thought everything was gonna go well, but... Minato-kun! Minato-kun, open your mouth. Go, ah... Uh... Oh no. It was already handful having a crazy sister, but now I have two. Um, can one of you stay away? No! We've made up our minds to adore you together. You're the one who told us that we're both your number ones, so be quiet and let us adore you. Oh no. Just like that, I got another crazy sister. Bonus! 
Can I talk to you for a sec, Mason? No, Minato-kun. You should call me sister. Can I talk to you for a sec, sister? Yes. What is it, Minato-kun? I am the Yume-chan. He'll call you sister someday. Then he can call his sister Yue and his sister Mei. Yes! I'm glad that you're getting along well. But I'm afraid that Mei-san will get bad influence from my sis and becomes crazy. Let's take a bath now, Minato-kun. I'll wash your back today. I guess it's too late now. 